Life goes up and it goes down. Hey guys, welcome back to another cleaning video. Today I'm going to be doing a ton of cleaning throughout my house and just sharing with you kind of like my simple cleaning routine and how I get all of it done. I'm also going to be sharing a really delicious dinner recipe at the very end so you're going to want to stay tuned for that but this is about two days worth of cleaning i do have my little hanky here with me in some of this video i'm doing a ton of decluttering and organizing in the laundry room as well that was well overdue and needed to be done so definitely stay tuned if you need some decluttering and organizing inspiration because i've got that for you in this video so if you need some cleaning motivation or you just want to sit back and relax and watch this cleaning video or clean along with me, whatever you're doing today. I'm happy that you are here. Don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started by making my bed and just tidying up our bedroom. I This is day one of the two day cleaning. I did not have a lot of time because I had an appointment to go to, but I had about an hour and a half, so this is what I got done in that hour and a half. I like to start by making my bed and just tidying my room in general, just dusting because that takes like literally 60 seconds and vacuuming and all of that because my room's pretty easy to clean. And once it's clean, it just really sets kind of the tone for getting the rest of my cleaning done upstairs. So I always start, I always start in our bedroom. Ready, let me have another day. Don't wake up. I have that candle warmer on my dresser. I also have one downstairs. I love them. I got them on Amazon. If I don't link them, which I will probably forget, just ask me in the comments if you would like the link and I will send it to you. But they are so cute and decorative, but they warm your candles and melt them like a wax melter. And um, they make it your house, your, like your entire house smell really, really good. And they save your candle. It makes it last a lot longer. So now I'm going to just fold a load of laundry really fast. I've been staying on top of my laundry for the last several months and I'm really happy with myself. This is something that I struggled with for the longest time, but I've gotten so much better at it and it makes me feel like, I don't know, like a better adult. I don't know, but I'm so proud of myself. And so that's what I'm doing really quickly is just a load of laundry. I do have a couple towels and my washcloths that I use to wash my face, but this is basically just my clothes. So it doesn't take me that long at all. And while I do my laundry, what kind of motivates me to do it and helps me get through it is watching, um, YouTube, like crime or like true story type documentaries. And I've currently been watching Annalise from 10 to life. She shares true crime. Usually they're like more, um, recent cases, but she shares, um, some that aren't as recent as well, but she's really good about like keeping you up to date. If there's any updates in those cases as well, she will post a video about it, but I really like the way that she, or like that her videos are laid out and the way she talks about it and everything. And she just really goes into good detail and I can follow easy. And that says a lot because I have ADD and it's really hard for me to like sit still or to stay on one topic or one thought. My mind's always like in a million different places. So I can sit through an entire video of hers and love every second of it. So that's how I get through my laundry. So if you want to check her out, her YouTube channel is 10 to life, like the number 10 to life and just watch a couple of her videos. And I'm sure you will be hooked just like I am.
I was cleaning in here and I realized that one of the picture frames that I had hanging above Hank's dresser had fallen. I don't know how long it's been on the ground. Like I think I would have noticed, so probably not too long, but I didn't hear it fall or anything, but yeah, it fell back there. I guess the command strip stuff did not last very long. So anyways, I was able to fix it. You will see in this video, I just added an extra command strip this time. They're not heavy at all, but I don't know what happened. Um, so you will see some of that in the behind the scenes as well, which is my reminder to stay tuned until the very end of the video, because not only do I have a recipe for you or like what I made for dinner, but I also have behind the scenes. Also, you might be wondering why I'm using this like hand towel. <laughs> this is because I'm lazy and, excuse me. <coughs> I was out of cleaning rags upstairs and I was too lazy to run downstairs and grab any. So I had a hand towel and I decided to use that to dust this furniture. Um, I think that I did end up on this day though going down and grabbing my bin of dirty rags and throwing them in the washing machine and you will see in this video as well that I do have a new stock of cleaning rags upstairs. I try to keep some upstairs so that I don't have to run down to get them but I was all out so yep here's me using a hand towel. So that was all that I got done before I had to leave and this is the next day I've got hanky in the bath because he actually had a blowout situation So I just brought him upstairs and put him in the bathtub to get him all clean And this is a tip that I have for you mamas This is something I've done with all of my kids and it has worked really really well for me Is when they're old enough that you can be in the same room, but you can turn their your back to them um, I use that time to clean the bathroom. So he's in the bathtub behind me playing with his toys. I'm there. I'm able to watch him. He's safe, but I can get the bathroom clean in that time rather than just kind of sitting there and not doing anything. I'm able to get it done. So I'm cleaning everything that I can. And then once I get him out of the bath and dressed, then I go back in and clean the bathtub really fast. And I'll show you what I use to do that. It makes cleaning the bathtub so quick and easy. I know that's a lot of people's like least favorite thing to do is to clean the shower in the bathtub. And I have some really serious hacks, tools, tips, tricks, whatever you want to say, whatever you want to call it for you that will make cleaning it so easy and possibly even fun. So stay tuned.
Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is take everything out of his bathtub and as you see I have this like hose hanging from the shower part up top. So that is the first thing that you're going to want if you don't already have a detachable shower head. If you already have one, perfect. You are already ahead of the game. These are about 20 bucks. You can get them at Walmart, Amazon. I will try and remember to link it. I think, I actually think I always have it linked in the, my description because it's one of my most popular things. This is Gain Power Blast in the Apple scent. I can't, I can't read that far away what I was showing you, but I think it's a new scent from gain in the apple blossom or something like that it smells so good but you can use dawn power wash um, in any scent or you can use the gain but i do recommend getting the ones that are this power wash type situation because it makes it so much easier so i just spray down the tub and the walls with that and you can let it set if you have a lot of soap scum let it sit for a few minutes and then i have a dish one that's right a dish one you can get them at the dollar tree and i always keep that in the showers each shower has one replace it after a few times you can get the replacement heads and I just scrub everything down really fast it cleans it and shines it so quick and easy everything comes right off and then I have that hose and that makes rinsing it so much easier before I did the hose trick I was using a cup and the water was getting like it would pour all down my arms and it was such a mess and no I will never go back when we moved into this house I brought all of these shower hoses with us because they are a must, but they also double that as they work great. If you're going to bathe your dog, they work so good, highly recommend, but they also work for washing kids hair. So when I'm washing like Kinsley, my older daughter's hair, I use that hose in her shower and it makes rinsing her hair so much easier and it rinses it clean. So they're not like laying in their dirty bath water or anything. Um, so highly recommend again, they're like 20 to 30 bucks and they have multiple uses, but if you're going to get it for only one thing, getting it for cleaning the shower is like a must. So a detachable shower head, a power wash type dish detergent, and a dish wand. And bam, cleaning your shower will literally take you three minutes and you're done. Cause I got the system of favorite things. You could be the part where it all begins. You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of Now I'm washing some throw blankets from the couch downstairs. I'm using my Buff City soap laundry detergent and fresh cotton. I thought until recently that Buff City soap was somewhere that was only local to me until recently we traveled and I saw one somewhere else and I Googled it and apparently they have locations all over. So you can look it up and see if you have one near you, but basically they make soaps in house and they're supposed to be cleaner. Um, they make like body soaps and bath bombs and bubble baths, salts, things like that. And they make laundry detergent. I love, 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 love them. I love their body soaps. Um, and I love their detergent. It is kind of expensive, but for me, it lasts a really long time because it's like my special detergent. So I only use it for special things. For example, washing like throw blankets or blankets that we cuddle with and things like that. So um, Fresh Cotton and Narcissist are two of my favorites. I haven't tried any of the other scents in the laundry detergent yet, but I plan to. I think they're like $15 to $16 for a tub like that, which sounds insane, but I swear it lasts the longest time if you're not using it like 
for your everyday clothes, which I really don't recommend doing because it's just too expensive. But that's what I'm using and I'm using it on the throw blankets that go on the couch in the living room because I wanted to go ahead and get that started so they would be done by the time I got down there to clean. But I'm getting started in here. I'm just kind of decluttering and organizing this space. It's just been overlooked for months and months. It needed a good dusting and I needed to go through some of my products and this space right here just really needed a facelift. So I decided to take everything down and out and go through what I didn't need. And I had like a bunch that went to a donate pile and then I actually had a whole trash bag full of trash which is insane that whole top drawer was basically trash you guys like what it makes me just like really question a lot of my life decisions when I declutter because I'm like why did I keep this Verizon bag from literally probably eight years ago no joke Also, I just found some glasses from a sponsorship that I did a very long time ago, probably five, four years ago, five years ago. And I guess it was a pair that I didn't end up loving the most. I still actually have all of the other glasses from that sponsorship and love them and wear them every single day. But I, um, I guess I didn't like that pair. So it was still in there and I did a little try on for you in the behind the scenes. So make sure you stay tuned for that. So I do keep cleaning products upstairs and downstairs. If you have a two-story home, I highly recommend doing that. That's another tip I have for you. You don't need as many as I have. I just love cleaning products and because it's what I do here on YouTube, I do have a lot. I think a few of you that follow me also have a lot, so you guys get it, but I just always love trying new ones and switching it up. So yes, I have a lot, but if you have a two-story home, I highly recommend just at least getting a little tub and putting your basics in it and keeping one upstairs and one downstairs. That way it will make cleaning so much easier. You don't have to go down the stairs when you're already up there and you decide like, hey, I'm going to run and clean the bathroom or the bedroom or whatever. You've got like a dusting spray, a multi-purpose spray, and an antibacterial spray, some cleaning rags, maybe like a window cleaner, and you're good to go. Actually, I take that back. Add in some bathroom cleaners. You might want something like I mentioned earlier, your power wash type dish soap for bathtubs. Um, I definitely recommend that. And if you have, that's for like the fiberglass type. I think that's what they are, fiberglass type bathtubs. But if you have like a tile shower, um, keep something, whatever your favorite tile shower cleaning product is, keep that up there as well, as well as like your little cleaning tools. Like I have a little toothbrush and I have the dish ones and I have um, some uh, like scrubby brushes. And I definitely keep a vacuum up here and I keep a mop up here. Um, so those are a couple of things I wanted to add to that. So here I'm just taking everything up off the floor so I can clean them and there was an absolute disaster that happened with the kitty litter. I cut it out right there but it is in the behind the scenes so you will see what happened right here but you do get to see me clean it up so just know this vacuum by Eureka that I've been sponsored by a few times now and been using. I really, really do use it and it really, really is awesome and it saved my life on this day. I'm just saying, I'm just saying.
Oh my gosh, do you guys want a serious update? So this is going to be for the ones that have really watched my videos closely and know what I'm talking about. I know not very many people of you will, so I'll give you a quick backstory. I have been talking about for years and years and years, I've had an awful dead mouse smell in our laundry room coming from the dryer. Could not figure it out. Several of you gave me tips and tricks. I tried literally every single one of them that you guys submitted. I hired somebody to come out and clean our um, air vent. They blew out a bunch of lint, whatever. It persisted. Three years, it smelled like a mouse died in there. Oh, quick intercept here. I am greasing my pan, my muffin pan, to lay out my rolls um, I think it's about two o'clock. What does the clock say? I don't know, but I have these Parker Parker house style rolls. I also love the roads. It's two 30. I'm just throwing them in this pan, to set them out so they can start thawing, um, for dinner later. And I'm going to share more about what I made for dinner as well. So definitely stay tuned, but let's get back to the story. So anyways, dead mouth smell three years, awful. Couldn't figure it out. Well, I was at my wit's end and I was threatening my husband that I was just going to buy a new dryer if he wouldn't help me figure it out because he kept saying, I don't know. I don't know what it is. And so one day I just was like, he was upstairs fixing Hank's toilet because it was leaking. So he had all his tools and everything up there. And I was like, this is it. This is the day that I'm going to literally back him in a corner and make him figure this out. So I pull the dryer out, right? And I get back there and I'm like, we're going to investigate. And I have him in there with me. And I figure out what it is right away within two seconds of me pulling the dryer out. So this is your cue, women. If sometimes like just, just figure it out yourself because sometimes we're smarter than we give ourselves credit for. I get back there behind the dryer and I realize I had no freaking idea that there was a gas line that ran back there because they had it where, well, I guess when they built the house where you could hook up a gas dryer, that was an option. You could do an electric dryer or a gas dryer. I had no idea. I didn't know that was a thing. I had no idea it was back there because I don't get back there. I didn't hook up the dryer. I don't know these things. I didn't even really know what it was when I saw it. But I got down and I put my nose right up to it and I kid you not, I about fell over. I was like, this is it. This is it. This is the smell. Oh my God. And I had a major freak out moment. I'm not going to lie. I was pretty aggravated because I couldn't believe that after three years that this was what was going on and it could have been fixed so easily had I not just pulled the freaking dryer out myself and investigated. So, ugh. But hindsight is 2020. So, anyways, there's a gas line back there and it was on. It was switched on and it had been leaking gas. Gas had been coming out. And I know you're probably thinking, well, gas doesn't really smell like a dead mouse, but it does. It does smell very foul when it's very potent in an enclosed space like that. So, I closed the valve and the smell is gone. It has never came back. That is a thousand percent what it was. And I saved the day. So again, if you're having a problem, you can't get your man to investigate and figure it out for you, girl. Just do it yourself. Okay. Because you know, we got this. And I will say, because I know somebody's going to come for me. They always do. Um, so for those that are sitting there ready to type on your little keyboard and come for me, um, my husband fixes literally everything. And one of my favorite things about him is that he can literally fix anything um, if it breaks, he can fix it. Um, and he does, and he does so much for her family and blah, 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 and yada, yada. And I literally know I do not have to say this, but, um, that was one thing he was not happy about was the dryer. Yeah, I don't know. Dryers and him just, they don't get along. He was not thrilled about fixing the dryer. <laughs> so I did it myself. Wanna wake up, I might be dreaming I might be dreaming You're stirring things up, my heart is beating my All right, so I have these picture frames. These are from Amazon. You can store your kids' artwork in there and display them. I talked about these in a couple of videos ago. You may have missed it, but that's where I got them from. They come in different colors. I love, 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 love them. And I love displaying my kids' artwork. So I was switching out something Kinsley had made me for Mother's Day, which is this really sweet little card that says something like, I'm the world's greatest mother. I need to replace Hank's. His is currently um, 
a carrot from his foot for Easter, but he didn't come home with anything that I could display for Mother's Day from school, so I will have to figure something out to put in his, but um, I love those frames. So I got two, one for his artwork and one for hers, and she loves so much when I pick something and think it's special enough that it gets to be put in the frame so it makes her feel really good but I genuinely just love seeing my little artworks up there from the kiddos so that is the perfect way to display them I love those frames such a genius idea All right, so for my dinner, let's just go in this with a disclaimer. This is a more of a inspirational what to make for dinner rather than a tutorial, but hopefully this inspires you. It's not really a recipe. It's just something that I'm making for dinner. So I have some chicken breasts here and I'm going to go ahead and throw them in this bowl and marinate them. I am going to chop them up first because I find that it's easier to cook them and they quick, they cook faster if I chop them up. So you will see that I did chop them up and then I just marinated them in this Larry's, um, garlic and herb. Yeah. Larry's size it herb and garlic. I poured the whole daggone bottle in there and I put the lid on and I put them in the fridge for a couple of hours to marinate and these would be great on the grill. I didn't grill them. We're out of propane actually, but you will see how I did do them, but I went ahead and did that as well. So, so far I've got the rolls set out there rising and I've got my chicken marinating. So when you guys see this, it will be Tuesday. That will be Kinsley's last full day of school. And then Wednesday she has a half day and then she's done. Maddie's done with ninth grade. She's officially a 10th grader and Kinsley will be going into third grade. So as of Wednesday afternoon, my kids are all completely out of school and we are on a summer break. I'm so excited for a more relaxed schedule and no more freaking homework. I hate homework. I'm so against homework. I think that it's the worst thing ever. I do not think kids should have to do homework. So I am so excited to be done with that and having an alarm to get me up in the morning. I'm looking forward to sleeping in. I'm looking forward to not having to get up and do the hustle and bustle of getting kids out the door and ha like having a bedtime early and trying to, you know, do all that and having to focus, like, you know how it is, like making sure you have dinner and that you get their homework and their baths and all that and get them in bed at a decent hour. I love summer break because we get to stay up later. They can play out in the pool when it's dark and we like throw glow sticks in it or whatever. The kids will like some of the neighbor kids will come over and play and you could stay outside till like 9 PM because the sun doesn't go set to like almost nine. And, um, it's just so much more relaxing for us. And I just love, I love the summer break. So I'm really looking forward to it and happy for my kids because they're definitely ready for a break from school. you 
All right, so I'm going to make mashed potatoes and I'm taking three potatoes here and I peeled them and then I chopped them up. Recently, I've been using my little chopper here to do it. I used to do it with a knife and it took forever. And since I cut my finger, I don't know if you remember that, but some of you probably do. I cut my finger and passed out and like had a panic attack. It was big freaking dramatic event. And so now I'm scared of knives. So I've been using this to cut it, but it's super fast and easy and it helps them to cook faster because they're really small. So that's how I do it. You can do it however you like, but I'm just putting them in some water and I'm going to do some salt and some garlic powder in there and let them boil with that in the water. I think it helps add flavor. Potatoes can be very bland. So I like mine to have a lot of flavor. So I'm going to go ahead and put those two things in there and let them boil until they are soft and ready to be mashed. And then I will show you what I put in them when they are ready. All right, so now I'm just going to take a can of green beans and open those up and drain them. And then I'm going to pour them into a pot. And this time I'm going to add salt and pepper and minced onions. You can do like a freshly minced onion if you want, but I just use the seasoning. And then I'm actually going to put in some ham lunch meat that we have. I already had it because I made ham and cheese sliders and I had some ham left over. So I'm just using it. But if you don't have that, another way that I do it is... I add bacon bits in there, which is also really good. So that's how I season them. And then sometimes I put um, like about a tablespoon of butter in there and just basically let them get warm, let all those flavors cook together. Now my chicken, it's all ready to be cooked. It's been marinating for a couple of hours. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw it in this pan that is already hot to kind of sear it. All right, now I'm getting my stuff ready for my mashed potatoes. I have a half a stick of butter and I'm using half and half, but heavy whipping cream is also good. My food lion is always out of heavy whipping cream. I don't know why. I don't measure this specifically. I just eyeball it. So I may end up having to add some more. I didn't this time. I'm pretty good at eyeballing it, but you know, always start with less. You can always add more. And then I'm just making boxed craft mac and cheese, you know, going to go ahead and throw my rolls in the oven and cook those. But I decided that I wanted to really like brown my meat. This was like such a process. Like honestly, the grill would have been better, but like I said, we were out of um, propane. So I just made the best of it. And I had this little cast iron skillet. So I just threw these in here when they were basically done. I put this on high and I just seared them. So they would have like that crispy brown outer shell and it would add some flavor. So that's what I'm doing there. Here's the potatoes. They're all cooked and ready to be mashed. I'm adding pepper and salt to them. And then I'm adding in my half and half and my butter. I always use real butter. I love butter so good. I love real butter. I don't use the fake stuff. So I am just kind of like chopping that up, like mixing it in there, letting it melt. And then I'm just going to mash them with my little masher here. And they're so creamy and good. Sometimes I add cream cheese to them. Um, sometimes I use milk. Like honestly, I make them different, you know, all the time, but this is how I made them this time. And they were actually really, really good. And this is the finished product. It was amazing. So hopefully that inspired you or you, if you need a dinner idea or whatever, the whole family loves this one. Good old home cooking comfort food. Stay tuned for behind the scenes. They are coming right after this and I will see you in my next video. And understanding their emotions when a parent passes away. Hello, when did that happen? I'm missing the whole picture. It's not good. The whole back came off. Why can be so complicated? Oh my goodness. I got a lot of 
picture of them here. Oh shoot, I didn't mean to take the back off of it. What a dummy. No! Alright, stand up so I can clean you off. Joe, Joe. Hey. Say hi. Hi, YouTube. I'm Zoe. Would you just stay up there and do your job? Nobody asked you. Nobody asked you. Uh-oh, what? Here, mommy will help you. Thank you. You're welcome, sweetheart. Well, don't take it out. Yeah, don't come in here, sweet pea. What's up? What's up? What's what, baby? What's up? The dryer. What? You want to hold me? Why? I thought you were playing with your trucks. Sweetheart, while you're gonna have to wait just a minute. No! Well, sweetie, sweetie, I needed that. glasses on. Uh, no. I don't think so. I don't know though. I can really see with them on. I do not. Okay. No, no. Don't come in here. Mommy's made a disaster of a mess. Sweetie, please, of all times in your life, do not come in here right now. There is pretty litter everywhere, and I'm not even entirely sure what she, I should do. Okay, spark it up with the vacuum. Don't touch that. That's poop. Nope, nope, nope. We don't play in the pretty litter. No, no. <sighs> I know this is sick. I'm going to wash my hands. Hi. Nope, don't come in here. Okay? Do not fail me now. We're going to put this back in to the test. No! 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 What is it? No! It's honeysuckle. It's honeysuckle. Okay. Mom. <laughs> oh, I like it, but I don't. I thought it no, was a snake. What? I do, but I'm, I'm having anxiety now. I thought it was oh a snake. Oh my gosh, Mom. I wanna hear you say it. Yeah. <laughs>